Hi Year 6, I thought today we would do some yoga and you can do this at home, just need to find a space and try not to uh, flail around too much. Before we start we always do a mountain pose just to get us into the right kind of mindset. This is where we stand feet together, nice and straight and tall. It's good to imagine that you have got a piece of string pulling you up to the ceiling just to make you nice and tall. And while you're doing this I'd like to do 10 deep breaths. I'd like to breathe in through your nose, hold it and then breathe out through your mouth. Try and see how long you can get that out breath going on for. When you've done that for your, you know, your 10 deep breaths, you could always pause it and do your 10 deep breaths and then come back to me. We're going to do triangle pose, okay? So you're going to spread your legs apart, okay? You are going to turn your foot and your body to the left, okay? Then you're going to get your left hand and you're going to try and touch your toes. I can't touch my toes, but just go as far as you can and then put your right hand up. And again, I want to practice, focus on your breathing, okay? So breathing in through your nose, holding it, and breathing out through your mouth. And again, I would like you to do that for 10 lots of deep breaths. When you've finished, you're gonna come up. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, spread your legs apart. Turn your body, this time your foot and your body to the right. Put your right hand down to your right foot, your left hand up. And we're going to do our breathing again, so in through our nose, hold it, and out through our mouth. And I'd like you to do that 10 deep breaths. Come back up when you've done that. Ooh, try not to lose your balance like I've just done. Okay, we did this one in school last week, cat-cow pose. Okay, so you need to get onto all fours. Okay, so you're hands are on the floor, your knees are on the floor, in case you're not resting your bottom on your legs, your bottom's up in the air. And the first thing I'd like you to do is to imagine that your belly button is going to come up to meet your spine. And you're going to so you're going to arch your back up, you're going to tuck your head under, okay, and you're going to be pushing your belly button up to your spine. So you should have a nice arch on your back, which I'm hoping I've got. You're going to hold that for five breaths, so five lots of breathing in slowly, holding it and breathing it out. And then you're going to do the reverse. So this time you're going to push your tummy to the floor, stick your bottom up, push your head up. Okay? I'm not sure which one is the cat and which one is the cow, to be honest with you. I'd say neither, but you know, never mind. And again, do that for five lots of breaths. Okay, next one we're going to do is a seated forward bend. Again, you're gonna see how unflexible I am. Okay, so you put your legs straight out in front of you. Try and keep your legs flat onto the floor. Okay, start, sit up, I don't wanna see slouchy tummies. Sit up nice and straight. Put your arms up, I want you to lean forward. Your A is to try and get your head onto your knees. Obviously, I am absolutely nowhere near. Okay, but that doesn't matter. The more I stretch and the longer I hold myself in this position, the better I will get, the further I will go. So again, I want you to do that for 10 breaths. So breathing in, holding it, and breathing out. Okay, then do that for 10 breaths. Next one you're going to do is another one that we did last week in class, in school, is a shoulder supported bridge. Okay, so you're going to go lie onto your backs. Okay, you're going to bring your legs up, your feet up to your bottom. I'm going to grab hold of your ankles and then you're going to push your tummies up. 
So your weight is now on your shoulders, hence the name, shoulder supported bridge. So I've made a bridge supported by my shoulders, okay? It's really tempting when you, your body gets tired to slouch a little bit, try and keep it up for the whole 10 breaths. Your last move for today, before you um, go on to do the little resty bit, the cool, cool down is what it's called, okay, is you're going to do a butterfly pose. Again, bring your legs in and then push your knees out so your heels, soles of your feet, sorry, are together. And again, you'll see how unflexible I am and you're going to lean over, try and get those head, that head onto your feet. And again, I'd like you to hold that for 10 breaths. To get a nice stretch down here. When you've done that, we always like to end with what's called child's pose, and it's really good for stretching out your lower back. So I'll show you on the side, okay? So you're just going to put your arms in, so this time you're sat on your, on your feet, arms out in front of you, head down, and just stretch. And you can do that for as long as you like. Okay, I hope you enjoyed yoga. I will do another one next week.